hey everyone welcome back to another new video i hope you all are doing really good so today i have received this dell latitude e610 laptop motherboard and this motherboard condition is turn on then off and on and off on and off problem so now i will try to fix this motherboard so let's try to fix it okay this is a motherboard uh, part number la-5471p so now i will show you the condition of this motherboard so when i connect power supply to this motherboard look at my power supply it's try to turn on just to wait okay it's turn on then off as you can see it's turn on then off so now i will uh, check some require voltage on this motherboard so i set my multimeter in dc mode so first thing first i will check dc in voltage in this uh, charging connector as you can see 19 volt is perfect so now i will check this 19 volt any of this uh, 19 volt feature in capacitor on this motherboard so as you can see it's perfect so next i will check 3 volt and 5 volt always <coughs> so 3.2 always is present this is a 5 volt coil so this is a 5 volt 4.96 okay it's good enough 5 volts present so now i will check 3 volt and 5 volt run voltage this is a 3 volt run voltage switching mosfet so as you can see let's try to run so let's check this uh, get voltage okay it's okay next is uh, 5 volt run other side okay this also try to run so now i will check ingredients in this 3 volt and 5 volt run so i set my multimeter in beep mode so as you can see there is no beep or value that means it's not short to ground so 3.3 also no short so now i will check ram supply so this is a ram supply 1.4 or 5 okay we have the 1.4 this also try to run okay so what should i check now so let's check on a schematic diagram so i will check all the run voltage first so let's find out uh, Q61 okay I already checked this 3 volt and 5 volt run so I need to check RAM voltage okay let's check this MOSFET Q200 let's find out Q200 so we got it this one it's a 1.5 volt memory supply to <coughs> 1.5 volt CPU VD, VDDQ so let's check this voltage okay so let's check other side okay no voltage let's check this gate this also try to run so first i will check this mosfet okay it's not short 
so let's check this voltage <coughs> get voltage comes from this uh, q201b so let's find this inside of this volt view first i need to find q200 it's here so this is a gate and this gate comes from here as you can see it's a register and capacitor so this should be here one register one capacitor here also two here also one okay so we have this so first i will check this 15 volt this is always voltage as you can see alw 15 so this voltage could be 13 or 10 whatever so let's check first connect power supply again and this register is r1497 so this is r1497 okay we have 12 volt always present other side of this register there is no voltage so now i will check this voltage as you can see it's a cpo 1.5 so is a cpo 1.5 underscore s3 underscore gate so i need to check this voltage so r1501 so this should be here r1501 and this is at the red so this part is not available on this not available so i need to check this only r1501 okay here you go this one okay this voltage also try to run so i hope this uh, MOSFET, this is a dual end channel MOSFET. So, first I will check this MOSFET and this capacitor. So, let's disconnect the DC power supply and uh, multi and this multimeter set to diode range. So, let's check here and here first. Okay. It's showing some value. Let's reverse. Okay, it's also showing some some value. So this two pin not showing any value. Okay. So I guess this uh, MOSFET is bad. So first, I will replace this MOSFET. This is a dual end channel MOSFET. Let's put some flux here. a little bit this is a first generation motherboard so I have this donor board 
and I also hope this part is also good. again okay let's put it back This is done, it's the same purse, same number. So let's check. Let's connect the power supply again. Okay, it's done. It's turned on. So let's check the display. Let's turn on. We have the logo and it's done. So sometimes it's very easy if you know how to fix laptop motherboard, how to repair. If you know, so it will be very easy for you. So if you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.